Good morning, afternoon and evening everyone. My name is Liam and welcome back to what could be the final episode of Pokemon Karosu version, Nuzlocke. In the last episode we got our last gym badges, we made it through the Outlaw Road, we caught a Moltres along the way and now we are at the Outlaw Plateau, ready to take on the Pokemon World Championships for a chance to face the Outlaw himself. I've done some training up off screen, I've changed the team off screen, I've given some Pokemon some new moves thanks to TMs, so this is the final team that is going to go into the Pokemon League for us. Coming up first, we have Jill, the big, booty, sexy Gengar, hasty natured, level 76 with Hypnosis, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb and now has Psychic on her. Next up we have Virgil, level 75, Crunch, Thunder Fang, Thunder and Swagger. I'm pretty sure Virgil still has the same moves. Next up we have Johnny, the Heracross, Strength, Megahorn, Takedown and Brick Break. Pretty sure Johnny still has the same moves too. Next up we have Jeff, the Killer, Tentacruel, level 76, Hydro Pump, Barrier, Surf and Toxic now instead of Acid. I didn't see Acid doing too much, it's only base 40 and it's just not going to do much damage even against super effective things. So I just took it off and I feel like stalling something out with Toxic could be better then whittling it down with acid the newest team member of the oh, the newest team member is Ian the Aerodactyl replacing our Fero, which has this level about Ian has Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Fly and Dragon Claw he has Rock Head, those are his stats and he is a bold natured so whatever and the other newest member of the team Garfield is gone and I bet no one predicted me to have this on the team we have Jack the Glaceon. Yes, the Eevee we caught back a few episodes ago is now a Glaceon with Runaway, <laughs> Quiet Natured, with Ice Beam, Ice Fang, Barrier, and Blizzard. This is our answer for dragons, pretty much. This is the answer for dragons. We don't really have anything else for dragons apart from Dragon Claw on Aerodactyl. I just want to see if there's anything else I can give that, uh, give to Glaceon. She has free ice attacks. Or he has free ice attacks. Also, his name's Jack Frost now, which is pretty cool. I don't think so. I think I could give him Iron Tail, but that would really do anything. I've used up mo. I give him Water Pulse, maybe. I can give him Water Pulse. That might help, maybe, against a Rock type. Eh, possibly, maybe. I get rid of Ice Fang. Yeah, I get rid of Ice Fang. Okay, let's get rid of Ice Fang. Give you Water Pulse instead. Boom! There we go. Right, so that is the team that is going to take on the tournament. Shall we get into it? Well, let's buy some items first. Spend all of our money. Full restores. Fill me up. Let's buy... 18. Uh, don't need any of that. Crap. I have a crap ton of hype potions. I have low... I buy a few more full heals just in case. Just spend the rest of our money on... Just spend the rest of our money. Boom. Broke. Are we ready, everyone? Are we ready? This is it. This is where we take on the world. Hello, Lindsay. Your tournament match is starting soon, but you still have some time for preparation. Are you ready for the tournament? Yes, I am. Good luck with your battle. Are we live? Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's a Meowth. Meowth. I'm going to have to give him the like, Meowth voice. Live from Outlaw Plateau in gorgeous Northwest Kanto. This is the Pokemon League Tournament! Doesn't sound anything like Meow Meowth. I'm Mike the Meowth, the world's only known talking Pokemon. You probably remember me from my successful acting career. I'm humbled to be given the opportunity to host such a wonderful tournament. All hail the Outlaw! All hail the Outlaw! We've got a nice exclusive crowd here on hand to watch this battle, as well as millions watching on TV from around the world. And the millions! Anyway, let's get the opening match of this exciting tournament. To tip off this exciting tournament, we've got a great matchup. To my right, it's Lindsay. She's a young girl who is well known in the Sevi Islands, but don't let her age fool you. She's a killer. She ta she's taken down some big time opponents. On my left is Leslie. Hey, you Leslie. There can only be one L l lady around here. She's well known for her affection for Eevee and its evolutions. It's said that she owns over 100 Eevee that she lives with as companions. All oh, right. Anyone has anything to say before the battle begins? Lindsay? No? How about you, Leslie? Hello, world! I'm here to prove that Eevee is the ultimate Pokemon! And it's incredibly cute and has beautiful and powerful evolutions! It is the greatest! All right, the stage is set. Let's do this! Lindsay versus Leslie, begin! 
So she's going to have a crap ton of evolutions. That hurt my mouth. It didn't even hurt my throat, it hurt my mouth. Let's go, Leslie. What you got up first? Flareon, level, 70, level 66. I am over-leveled, but I did click on... Uh, I did go through the tournament. I didn't go through the whole tournament. I literally just clicked through the tournament quickly. And I did see someone at some point has like a level 76 Salamence. So I put all my Pokemon just to 76. Because the tournament I assume is one match after the other. So there's no training points. I just had to put my Pokemon just at that point. I just used 76 as a benchmark. It could, they could go higher. They could go lower like this one. But I genuinely don't know. So if at any point my Pokemon are very over leveled like this. My bad. There just wasn't much I could do about it. Holy shit. Are you kidding Espeon, okay. Uh, pff, I would use Gengar, but... <laughs> Let's use Virgil. Virgil has Crunch. Calm mine. Crunch. It's gonna kill you in one shot. Get out of here. Virgil again. Thunder? Ah, okay, Thunder. Fuck! Are you kidding? Come on. Alright. Right, push him back up. Can you miss one? Oh, Thunderfang killed. I wasn't sure if it would, because Vaporeon's stupidly like, you know, Vaporeon. Um, I'm going to keep him Virgil, because I can't see what Jolteon's really going to do to me. Whereas I can crunch him. I'm going to take this opportunity to heal up. He can use Thunder on me, but it's not... Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, he can use Thunder on me, but... It's not going to do too much. Yeah, I can crunch him, and he can't do anything back to me. Leafeon. Uh... Uh, I can't remember if Leafeon's physically or specially bulky. I know it's one of the two. Let's search it. Hello, Siri. Hey there. Search Leafeon. Leafeon. Close. The, Leafeon. the first thing that came up was my boyfriend's raped me and now has a secret lover. You got some explaining to do, Leafeon. Leaf. Leafeon. Leafeon. There we go. I can't remember if you're physically or specially bulky. And it does kind of matter. I know you're fast. You are physically bulky. Okay, so special hits. So, so is Jack. Jack Frost making his debut. Jack Frost is on the scene. Ice Beam! How did it go first? Whatever. Just kill it now, Jack Frost, before it becomes a problem. Holy crap, Glaceon is slow as dicks. It's not going to be able to take on any dragons. It's so slow. Okay, well, it killed it, which is good. That's the important thing. It's dead. <laughs> the important thing is it's dead. Alright. Oh, another. There's a Glaceon. <laughs> How convenient. Let's go, Johnny. Sending out my Johnny. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Hiya! Yes. No, my beautiful evolutions. Oh. Easy peasy. Wow, what an incredible display by Lindsay and her Pokemon. That was impressive. Lindsay did her best. Oh, Leslie did her best, but she couldn't overcome Lindsay's powerful Pokemon. Any post-battle thoughts from you two? You were better than me, Lindsay. Maybe you aren't so strong, but they're still super sexy. Oh. I think we can all agree with that, can we? Can we all agree with that? You over there and you? Can we all agree with that? Rainbow Cookie, can you agree with that? No, I don't think you can. Alright, Lindsay is the winner and advances to the next round. Any both competitors leave so our next batterers can come in. Oh, I can heal up between matches! Fucking awesome. That's perfect. Okay, well. I can buy items between matches too. Let's buy another one of these while I can. There we go. Broke again. <laughs> well, let's go on to the next match then. Hello, Lindsay. Your tournament match is starting soon. We have some time to prepare. It's okay. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's go! Let's go! Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Welcome back, viewers! We are live at the Pokemon Tourney! The second round has been fun so far, and we've got another great battle for you guys! Let's introduce you to our competitors! To my right, we've got Lindsay! She's the mysterious assassin from Sevi Islands. She ruthlessly disposed of some Eevee fangirl, but a competition stiffens because of... The battler to my left, Rios! He's a he's battled in the tournament on multiple occasions, even going as far as the Sweet 16! As he looked as good as ever in a com 
back victory over Jim. Who the frick is Jim? So before we go at it, does anyone have anything to say? No, I never do. Both fighters remain silent, they are focused on the battle. Let's go! Rios versus Lindsay! Who the frick is Rios and Jim? Rocker Rios. God of War. Jill! Gengar! Gengar should blow this away. This Gengar, this God of War should not be able to live. It should die a painful death. Get out of here, Gengar! Le Gengar. No, Jill, you have to stay. You have to stay and send me sexy pictures. Polytoad. What? Polytoad? That does not live here. Polytoad does not live in this region. You are disqualified. You are shamed. Get out! Shame. Shame. Polytoad. Get this Polytoad out of here, Virgil. Get this. Get this Gen 4 nonsense. Polytoad Gen 4 or 3? I remember. Or, no, it's Gen 2. Get that Gen 2 nonsense out of here. Maybe it does belong in this game then. Don't know why I thought Polytoad is later on. Tauros. 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 Oh no, he's going to intimidate. Oh, I don't know if Brick Break will kill him. Maybe? Maybe Brick Break will kill him? Heracross is pretty freaking strong. Even at minus one. I should be able to take the Thrash. Yeah, it didn't do too much. No, it lived! It lived! Ah! Uh, I'm just going to take another Thrash because I feel like she'll use a potion otherwise if I heal up now and she comes out of the Thrash. Hiya! What have we got next? Porygon. T ah, damn it. Uh, yes. Let's go into. Let's go into. Jeff, because I feel like Porygon 2 will have Psychic. And I know Psychic's not good against Jeff, but it's not good against Gengar either. And Mega. And uh, whatever his name is, is too low of health. Trace Liquid Ooze, which is fine. I'm going to click Toxic. Blah, 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 blah. Zap Cannon. Okay, sir. That shouldn't do too much to me. That shouldn't do too much to me. Well, it'll do something, but it shouldn't do, like, absolutely loads. Tentacle's pretty specially bulky. He's missed two so far, which is cracking. Oh, he landed one. Ah, son of a bitch. Right, this shouldn't kill me. It'll do like half. <gasps> oh, it was a crit! It was a crit, you son of a bitch! Oh, I was so nervous. I thought I messed up. I was like, oh, I balls this up so bad. But it was a crit, so it's fine. Right, full restore. Oh, yeah, full restore too. Damn it. Does my Heracross have guts? It does. Okay, let's go out into Heracross. I think it... Does it have Psychic? I don't know. How did Toxic miss? I'm a poison type. Okay, right. He doesn't have any Zap Cannons left. Alright, it's now a Water type, which is... Okay with me, really. Good. Set up a barrier. <laughs> Victory bell. Okay. Uh... Let's give Ian a go. Yeah, let's give Ian a go. Go, Ian! Let's go, Ian! Fly up in the sky! Go, Ian! Fly down onto the Victory Bell! Put your Aerodactyl butt on its Victory Bell mouth! Well done, Aerodactyl. Who we got next? Agron. Ooh, Agron. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. I suppose Johnny. Yeah. Johnny's a pretty good bet. <laughs> Agron! Taste my brick break. This might not kill it. Maybe. I don't know. Heracross put in the work in this in that battle. Shout out to Heracross. 
Damn, I hate to lose, but you're really good. Hear that? We got props from Rios. Wow, Lindsay wins again! Rios tried to make it tough on her, but it didn't matter. I just love watching her and her Pokemon battle. Such a smart trainer with tough Pokemon. So I guess you two will continue to stay quiet? No, I have something to say to Lindsay. Lindsay, I've seen a lot of trainers over the years, and you're as tough as any of them. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, congratulations to Lindsay. She's part of a field of powerful newcomers who are making tons of noise in the tournament. Lindsay will advance to the round of 16. Okay, so I'm in the sweet 16. Nice. So I have... 16, 8, 4, so I have like 3 more battles before I get to the final. Let's heal up. Uh, let's buy another 4 restore to replace the one that I used. And let's get on to the next battle again. I don't like Gengar going first because Gengar can't take a hit. I kind of like Jeff going first, but also Virgil's kind of good to go first too. I'm going to put Virgil up front. Virgil's going to lead the charge this time. Hello, Lindsay. Your tournament match is starting soon, but you still have some time for preparation. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this! Who the hell is that I'm fighting? Let's start! We're back with more live action from the Pokemon tournament. I'm Mike, the Talking Meowth, and this has been a great tournament so far. We started at 64, but there are only 16 trainers left remaining. It's been a remarkable trend of first-time participants dominating this tournament so far. And these two trainers are great examples of this. Over here we have Lindsay! She's shown off her skills as an assassin. And to my left we have Son! He's the mysterious ninja who decimated his first to a fucking fighting a ninja? Ah, I'm fighting a ninja! I am a deaf ninja! Oh shit, it's a deaf ninja. I wonder if he runs like Naruto. I'm an enemy of the outlaw and a student of Lance. When I was a child, the outlaw defeated me and my family in battle. This shame caused my father and older sister to commit seppuku. I desire to win this tournament so I can get the chance of vengeance against the outlaw. What a scary backstory. I think it's time to get this show on the road. It's Assassin vs. Ninja. Lindsay vs. Son. Okay, well, this is actually kind of interesting. Why am I fighting a ninja? Oh, look at that sprite. Look at that custom sprite. Fighting a Zangoose. See, he's level 72. Now my level's starting to make sense. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Kadoosh. Paralyze him. Paralyze him. Um, What are the chance of him using a normal type move? What are the chance of him going for a dark type move? Not very high. Not very high. I don't think he'll go for a dark type move. I think he'll go for a normal type move. I'm not sure if Zangus gets any dark type moves apart from knockoff. I think he's going for like quick attack or slash. He might go for slash. Do I risk Jill? Do I risk Jill? What else could he go for? Brick break? Fire attack, maybe? Let's go into Jill. Slash, slash, slash. Oh, your boy! Predictions! The Prediction King! Get your sludge bombs here! Get your sludge bombs here! Two for one on sludge bombs! Get out of here, Zangoose, piece of crap! <gasps> oh, you sneaky so and so! How dare you have a Gengar! You! Oh, I'm mad! I'm mad! I'm mad now! Virgil, eat this Gengar! Eat it! Eat this Gengar with your crunch attack! Eat the Gengar! Oh, you have Confuse Ray? I should have left my Gengar in really and just killed it if it's chatable. Come on, Virgil! Come on, Virgil! Yes! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it like a rainbow cookie! Yes! Oh, the crits! Rainbow Cookie! That's you, Gengar! Rainbow Cookie! Da, na, na, na. Virgil turning up today. Macargo? Okay. Well, you had a good team. Virgil is turning up today. Da, na, na. Let's just get this Macargo out of here and move on to something else. Why would a ninja have a Macargo? It's a very odd Pokemon for a ninja to have. Oh, man, this tournament's stressful. Sizzle. Oh, I don't have a fire type. Shit. 
Uh, I suppose Jeff is probably best. What could he really hit me with? Sizzle, Sizzle doesn't get like Earthquake or anything. Hydro Pump? I should use Barrier. Yeah, it does Aerial Ace, but that's not going to do like loads. Oh, what's this? Citrus Berry? Citrus Berry, okay. Alright, I'm going to use Barrier. Touch me now, boy! <laughs> Laughable damage! Laughable damage. I'm going to use one of my Lemonades. Surf! Surf should kill from this range? Hydro Pump done a lot, so Surf should do at least half. Yeah, there we go. Tentacruel is probably the second best Pokemon on my team. Ninjask. Which one's Ninjask? Ninjask is the fast bug? Yeah, Shedinja's the ghost bug. Okay, I was just I was trying to remember. Ninjask. Uh, Rock Tomb. Come on, Rock Tomb. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Boom, 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 boom! X marks the spot. Woo! Blew the ninja away. Blew the ninja away. Oh yeah, I am a disgrace. Maybe he's going to kill himself now. I feel like he might. Incredible! Lindsay's run continues. She's completely stopped Sun's momentum. Lindsay and her Pokemon are just on another level. So any comments from our competitors? <coughs> Excuse me. That's my comment. <laughs> nope, I just... Sorry. Cookie coming back on me. Sun looks a little depressed. Of course he is. He's a ninja. Okay. Well, Lindsay is the winner in advance to the quarterfinals. Now get out of here. I feel like Son's going to try and come back and kill me later on. <laughs> Alright, let's heal up. Oh, the bed of this heating up. The battles are heating up. Holy crap, we are really far. Ah, phone. All right, let's crack on. Let's get going. Hello, Lindsay. Your tournament match is starting soon. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I didn't buy my, I didn't do my pre-game ritual of buying a full restore. Who am I fighting? Is this Cyrus? Looks like Cyrus. Hello to our viewers in Kanto and around the world. I'm Mike the Talking Meowth, blah, blah, blah. We are down to our final eight battlers in what has been a thrilling tournament. And right here we have two awesome battlers. First, we have Lindsay. She wasn't too well known before the tourney, but she's turned a few heads here. She's a tough battler who leads on impressive team of Pokemon. And to my left, it's yet another tournament newcomer, Amanda. It's a woman. She's from a distant region and uses strange foreign Pokemon that I've never seen before. But her Pokemon have been dominating this tournament. She's beating nearly every Pokemon she's faced with a single blow. Oh shit. Oh god. I do. And for the record, I'm not a quiet person. It's just that competition so far has been subpar. I didn't want to waste my breath on such weaklings. But this opponent is worthy of my time. Not many people can take down a group like the Salone crime family. But even you don't stand a chance, Lindsay. I have travelled all over the world gathering these Pokemon. I have seen societies far more superior and advanced than simple Kanto. Kanto and his Pokemon are inferior. I will win this tournament easily. Oh. Is she, uh... What, what Pokemon is she going to have? She's going she's gonna, to she's gonna have all foreign Pokemon. That's why we need to build a wall. Pokemon Trainer Amanda has a Delph Fox. Okay, I like the cry as well. Good thing I have Crunch. I don't think this Crunch will kill, and I think a Fire Blast might kill me now. There's nothing I can do about that though. Because <laughs> Delph Fox will outspeed my team even if I go into Tentacruel. So Crunch, need you to kill it. Ah! Oh! Oh, but the defense. Oh, no, it's the special defense. Ay! Right, heal up this turn and let me get a max roll on Crunch. <laughs> heal up this turn and give me a max roll on the Crunch. Ang, ang. Tell me that was a min roll. Ah! Heat wave. Come on, Virgil. Come on, Virgil. Please, Virgil. No, it's a crit! Crit mattered! The crit mattered! I call bullshit! The crit mattered! The crit mattered! 
the crit. Ah! Ah! The crit mattered. I'm calling it now. The crit mattered. That's made me mad. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> That's upsetting. That's very upsetting. Um. Right, now I have to search Del Fox's speed now, because I don't know how fast Del Fox is. Well, it can't be faster than Aerodactyl. Come on, Aerodactyl's like a... Aerodactyl's like a hot shit on wheels. Yeah, couldn't be faster than Aerodactyl. Oh, oh my god, that crit mattered. I don't care what anyone says. Do the damage, calcs. That crit mattered. I got screwed! Cabalion, okay. Um, I suppose Johnny. Yeah, I suppose Johnny would be best bet here. I don't want Ian getting hit of any, like, iron heads or anything. Wait, you have a Cabalion? I wasn't even paying attention. You have a Cabalion. Why does Cabalion have Intimidate? Alright, Iron Head shouldn't do too much. Pretty sure it's resisted. JK, it done a lot. And I flinched. And does sword stance now, so I better kill it in one hit or I'm dead. Oh my god! Alright, sword stance, iron head. If it doesn't have. Does Cabalion get earthquake? Because if it doesn't, then it can't really touch my tentacle. Uh, Cabalion. I don't think it does get earthquake. Cabalion. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. I don't think Cabalion does get Earthquake. It doesn't. Okay, so I don't think Cabalion actually has a way to touch my Tentacruel. And Johnny can't take another hit. Like, Johnny is not going to take another Iron Head. Definitely not. Whereas Tentacruel probably will take at least, like, four. I should withdrew. The switches, the plays. Oh, you got predictified, son! You got predictificated! Get out of here, Talonflame! Get out of here, Talonflame! Get your box of hot wings out of here! Get out! Just leave! Whoo! That was a play! That was a play! Stoutland, okay. Hmm. I don't really know what to bring in for Stoutland. I suppose Ian, maybe? Then he might have Wild Charge or some kind of crap like that, or Thunder Fang. I have a feeling that's Thunder Fang. It probably has, like, Crunch as well, so I can't bring in Jill. Um, and I need Tentacruel a lot. Tentacruel's, like, so pivotal to the team. I'm going to try Ian. I'm going to try Ian. And try and, like, don't know. I have no clue. Stoutland! Yo, you have Intimidate too! Christ! Everyone has Intimidate. Alright, let's fly and see what you're trying to go for. Crunch, okay, I can deal with I can deal with Crunch. Crunch shouldn't do too much to Ian. You're so fat. Special defense drop doesn't really matter. Um let's go for Rock Tomb. It's not doing a whole lot, but lowering speed might be handy. Crunch again. Uh, let's go fly again. This goes for reversal. Okay, that's an issue. Right, I missed that. <laughs> so that was great. I'm glad I missed that. I didn't do anything at all. Let's take a second to heal up. I should heal up everyone, really, while he can't do any damage to me. Uh, where's that lemonade gone? Lemonade. Ah, crits! Alright, let's fly. Reversal's doing a bit more damage now, which is a, which is a bit upsetting. Ah, oh, I need a fly to kill there, really. 
Okay, well, let's just kill this Stoutland and just can't use Ian pretty much for the rest of the battle. Cabalion, back on the Cabalion. Uh, let's go Jeff now that I know you have Intimidate. Heracross isn't going to help very much. I feel like Surf, better option, because I can't see what Cabalion's going to do to Tentacruel. I'm not being very entertaining and funny in this battle, because I'm really like, this is like an actual battle, and I'm like, holy crap, what am I going to do? What's he going to do? I've already lost Luxray, I can't lose any more. Okay, so down goes Cabalion. We got like, Lucario. Oh, crap. Uh, Johnny should be able to handle Lucario. Johnny should be able to handle Lucario. Not unless Lucario has Intimidate 2. Or like, it's, it might have Blaze Kick. It might have Blaze Kick. I just thought it might have Blaze Kick. Come on, come on Heracross. Blow Lucario away. Oh! Whoo! Done. Dunzo Funzo. Jesus. Incredible! Oh, it wasn't the Meowth that said that, it was her. My bad. Whoa, wow, what an amazing battle! Two incredible female battlers going at it, and Lindsay wins! Lindsay took yet another level and found a way to win again. I'm simply amazed. I was completely wrong. I've rarely seen anyone battle like that. Lindsay, you and your Pokemon have flawless rhythm. You battle like the regional champions that I've seen around the world. Incredible. You should be really proud of yourself. Thanks. And Lindsay shows some emotion. Lindsay, you are going to enter the final four. Congratulations. Oh. Okay, so. Heal up the team. Get Luxray out. Where are you, Luxray? Sorry, buddy. You have been defeated. And now I have no more electric type Pokemon. But, because they can come back here each time, I can pick up someone else. So I'm going to pick up a grass type. I'm going to pick up Oddish. Actually, let's have a look at Oddish. Do you have any good grass moves at this point? You're sassy, which is pretty good. You don't, but I do have the TM for Giga Drain. Um, or I could have Bellsprout. I could have Bellsprout. Do I want Victory Bell or Vile Plume? Do I want Victory Bell or Vile Plume? Hmm. I think I want Vile Plume. Okay. Now I reveal to you all that I've been cheating all along. That I was cheated all along and I have a shit ton of rare candies. <laughs> Alright, so Jasmine, level you up to Gloom. Uh, let's have a look at Gloom's moveset real quick. I realise this episode's going a bit long, I might stop it just after training up this Gloom. And then continue it in the next episode. Gloom. Holy shit, Gloom just turned- if I just type in Gloom it actually comes up. I would have thought it came up like Gloom and Doom. Gen 3. Oh shit, damn it. Uh, let's have a look at your moveset. You learn Petal Dance at 44. That's pretty much it. Shall I rare candy up to 44? I suppose so. Lindsay, item, withdraw, some rare candies. So I'll take. Uh, I don't think I need that many. Was it 35 already? I'm gonna take 20. I've only done that because like training up before this episode was ridiculous. It was taking way too long. Where does rare candies go? Oh, there they are. Right, let's put you up to 44, and then we'll leaf stone you, and then we'll get you up to 70. Actually, I'm going to do this off screen. So, in the next episode, we're going to continue the tournament. I'm going to make next episode probably the last episode. So, you don't want to miss it. Next episode is probably going to be the last episode because we're going to be in the final four. So, don't miss it. But if you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, feel free to leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below on what you thought of this episode. Like I said, do not miss the next episode. It's going to be the end, the finale of Pokemon Karosi version. Thank you all for watching. I love you all very much. You mean the world to me. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Mwah. Smooches, smooches. Bye-bye.